Thank you for listening. I'm Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Taj Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts Podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. I want to welcome back Mr. Sam Elvey to the show. One of my favorite people to talk to. I love talking to him early in the day because he is so positive. You get my day off to a fantastic start. Thanks for doing this, Sam. Hey, you're very welcome. Thanks for having me on. Man, anytime. Uh, big fight coming up here. This is your uh, second fight at 205, UFC Fight Night 131, better known as UFC Utica. It's a really stacked card, and uh, I'm really looking forward to your fight, man. Oh, I appreciate it. And this is this is a fun card. It's not not a lot of huge names, but there's a lot, lot of good matchups. So I'm pretty excited to be on it. Yeah, there's a, a lot of uh, as you said, man. It doesn't really have the the name notoriety, but there's a. I mean, every fight is is a pick of it. It's a really good matchup. Yours is no different, John Volante. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Did you do anything different in your preparation for this fight? I, you know what? I didn't do a ton different. Uh, I, I've got a great camp, and I, I'm real comfortable with what I do for every fight. So me and the coaches, we came up with a good game plan, and we've just been practicing on, on performing. You looked fantastic in your last outing at 205. I mean, the way that you rushed Prachnow, I mean, I don't think he ever expected it, saw it. I mean, you looked fantastic at 205. How do you feel? You know, I, I feel great, uh, but honestly, I felt great at 185, too. Uh, it's just an easier time getting to 205. So I, as long as as long as the UFC wants me there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay at 205, I think. Yeah, I think it's a good place for you, man. I, I think uh, I think you're going to be able to reach your potential there. Now, you're kicking off the main card here at UFC Utica. It's a, it's a really fun card, as you said, man. You just turned 32 on May 5th. I want to wish you a happy belated birthday. Well, thank you so much. It feels good. I don't feel a day older than 31. And you don't look a day older than 25, so things are going pretty good for you. Yeah, things are looking up good, looking up well for Sam. But did you do anything special, or did you do anything unique for your birthday? Yeah, you know what? This is the second year in a row uh, we did it. Uh, there was a Mexican burlesque luchador show uh, in L.A. So wow. me and uh, a, group, a group of our buddies, uh, we, all, we all went downtown and, and saw that show. How was that? Oh, it was so much fun. We went last year, and I think it's going to be every year we do it now. It's a Cinco de Mayo show, so it just works out perfect with my with my birthday. Yeah, I'm going to have to check that out next time I'm out uh, in the L.A. area. That sounds like a uh, sounds like an interesting time, to say the least. You yeah, know, the, the name of it was Lucha Vavoom. Lucha Vavoom. I'm going to definitely have to check that out. So, Sam... You know, Michael Bisping just retired. The reason I bring that up is he's one of the most underrated fighters, in my opinion. And, and I liken that to you a lot because lo- looking through your record, you are one of the most accomplished fighters in the entire UFC, but I don't feel like you get the credit or the respect that you deserve. Do you feel the same way? I think I got a ton of respect. Uh, I, I might not be the most well-known fighter yet, but I'll get there. Uh, this is only my second time fighting on a uh, main card that's true. And, and you're, uh, you're a Bellator vet. You're a UFC vet. You've been doing this for a long time. You're one of the toughest guys in the world. I just feel like people should be talking about Sam Alvey more. You know what? After this fight, they will. This is the, the I mean, the, the first time I got to be on a main card, uh, Derek Brunson, he, he got the better of me. So I'm going to make sure it doesn't happen this time and I'll never be on the undercard again. Uh, <laughs> the, the legend of Sam Alvey continues. <laughs> what did you think of the ESPN deal with the UFC? You know what? I, I don't know how it affects me yet, so I, I'll be happy to, to happy to go with the flow. Uh, the UFC hasn't led me astray yet, so I'll, I'll trust they know what they're doing. Any predictions for this weekend's fight? Uh, I tell everybody. I, I'm going to submit them in the third round. Throw in the third round. <laughs> because that's what I say for every fight. <laughs> Well, eventually you got to be right, right? One of these times. Yeah, eventually it's going to happen. <laughs> well, I know that you're active on social media. You're smiling, Sam, on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, the floor is yours, man. If you'd like to shout out your sponsors, anything you'd like, Sam. I tell you what, I, I'm part of the greatest gym on the planet, uh, Team Quest, uh, Dan Henderson's Athletic Fitness Center. 
And uh, if anyone ever wants to come out and train, I'm in Southern California. We don't have winter there. Yeah. So, so if you guys are looking to get away for a week, come train with me. I'd love to, I'd love to punch you all in the face. <laughs> well, I'd love to get punched in the face by you. I'd love to take you up on that offer sometime. I wish you the best of luck in your fight uh, on Friday. Hey, let me ask you before I let you go. Is that Friday going to throw you off? Because usually you fight on a Saturday. No, I don't think so. I just started everything a day earlier. My weight cuts, I, I'm actually, I'm ahead of, ahead of schedule a day on my weight cut. Um, and everything else should happen just fine. Just, I, I get the weekend now. Hey, I'm actually, uh, my little girl turns five a day after I fight. So we'll be in New York. We're going to go up and see the Niagara Falls. And that'll be uh, my little girl's fifth birthday. Oh, that's going to be awesome, man. Uh, happy birthday to, to your little girl, man. That's super special. I have two of my own, so I know how those moments are, are priceless, man. Oh, wait. We're looking forward to it. She, she's going to be tickled. Definitely. Well, I, I thank you for your time, man. I can't wait for your fight. You kick off the main card. I know it's going to be a fantastic outing for you, sir. Hey, thank you so much for having me on. I can, we'll, we'll make it happen again, I promise. Oh, absolutely. Thanks, Sam. Absolutely, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>